Hey guys, what's up? This is Brad Daldesi, 2787. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm actually not going to be singing today, but I usually sing here on my channel if you're new. So check out some of my covers. I just recently did a cover of Mariah Carey's Eternal, Mine Eternal, and Warrior by Demi Lovato, so be sure to check that out. And um, recently I've been loving some makeup products and my channel is everything. I don't really just put myself in a box. I am a random channel. So welcome to my channel if you're new, if I haven't already said that because I can tend to rumble for days. But anyways, um, I'm actually going to be sharing some of my March favorites. I don't usually put up a favorites video, but um, maybe it might be something that I'll be doing every month. I'm not sure yet, but for the month of March I will be doing it. So that's what this is going to be is some of my, my um, favorite makeup products from the drugstore because I love drugstore that are um, really good products and I gravitate towards them every day of my everyday makeup routine. So with that being said, because this is a really long, long intro, I apologize, but um, this is going to be kind of a long video, so I hope you guys have your coffee, your snack, and let's get to it. I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible, okay? So the first product that I want to talk about, I don't know why I always say product, guys, just bear with me. The first one I want to talk about is the makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Target and they're the Up and Up brand. Works amazing. Check them out. I really like them. Um, they really do take off like one wipe can take off all of my face makeup pretty much. I might need to go in with the second one. It depends how much makeup I'm wearing that day. But I promise you these work amazing. I've tried many many from the drugstore that are not good and I really enjoy these. They're very cheap and affordable and I recommend anybody check them out. So I've been enjoying those and this is an empty one which I need to pick up some more. That's how much I liked it. Some Milani, um, some blushes that I've been really loving for, well this one I love for all year round but this month I've been gravitating it gravitating towards it more often and it's called Luminoso. I've talked about it in previous video videos. I'm sorry guys, I'm tongue twisted today. But I've talked about it in previous videos and it's just a bit beautiful, beautiful coral peach and it gives you the most beautiful glow on your cheeks. So check it out. Milani Baked Blushes are awesome. Another Milani Baked Blush that I loved is called Belizemo Bronze and it's really pretty if you want that glowy, bronzy look. Really, really pretty. And then moving on, I've talked about this, I don't know how many times, probably like a million times in like all of my videos I think I talk about this, but I love it so much. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. The only thing I do not like about this powder is that it doesn't have a large shade selection range and I don't like that because I don't think that's fair. I feel like they have more shades for lighter skin girls and I don't think that's right. But anyways, that's the only thing I don't like about it. And also the packaging. I hate the packaging. I wish that they would repackage these and put them in little um, compacts because I feel like so many people on YouTube love this powder and it's amazing and it's really inexpensive, like 4 or $5 at the drugstore. You cannot go wrong. But I hit pan because I have so many of these and I religiously use this every single day. Love that. So moving on, sorry, I need to eat a goldfish because I'm starving. So anyways, sorry about that. <laughs> this is another nice one. It's called, it's a blush bronzer duo and it's in Shimmering Goddess, which is funny because it's actually matte. That's what I like about this is, um, I don't know why they call it Shimmering Goddess because it has absolutely no shimmer in it. It has nothing to do with glitter at all. These blushes are matte. It's hard to come by like drugstore blushes that are very pigmented, good quality, and matte at all at the same time. I really enjoy it. I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. It's magnetic and it's by Flower Cosmetics sold at Walmart. And these are the two shades. It's really, really pretty. Let me just swatch a little bit for you can see how pigmented this is. So pretty, right? There it is on my hand. 
So moving on, we're gonna keep it rolling because this is gonna be a long video if we don't. Another powder, and I'm just grab it, grabbing stuff from this box so it's in no particular order at all. I'm just grabbing stuff from the box, so I apologize, guys. But anyways, this is another powder that I really enjoy. It's called Revlon Nearly Naked. I love it so much, and I have been re recently using this in March as well when I want a natural finish. And um, another, let me see, what do I want? Okay, another blush that I really like too is this Living Doll by Hard Candy. I feel like if I had to pick one blush out of all the blushes I have, I use this one on an everyday basis the most because what I like about it is I don't know if you can really pick it up it's pink but it has like yellow gold purple like it's so dimensional and it's so beautiful the colors on your cheek it just glows like it's gorgeous love it and this is um dry but you can also excuse me it is my blush but you can use it wet which is right here or dry which is right here and I just love the way it looks on your cheeks it's so pretty love it I am obsessed with this blush obsessed with this blush and it's called living doll by hard candy so check it out if you like a pinky blush and I like that one as a blush I like it as a highlight I use it in so many different ways you can also use it as a eyeshadow um, Okay, so this one I'm so excited to share with you guys because I am obsessed with this. I almost don't use it every day just because I don't want it to run out, which is kind of ridiculous because I spent money on it, so I should use it. But it's the Lorac, sorry, it's the Glow Getter Lorac pa Eyeshadow Palette. And I got it, I think, last summer. I can't remember. It's really cute packaging. This is the packaging it comes in. I love it. Blue is my favorite color if you guys don't know that already. And I really, really love this. Oh my god, you guys. Look at these shades. They are to die for. I apologize that my lighting sucks. You can't even see the colors as good as I would like you to see them. But maybe I'll post a picture for you guys. I already have some on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you don't already. I'll link it. Link it. Sorry. I'll put it in my description box down below if you would like to be my friend. I would love to have you on there. I love this. I'll do more swatches in another video. I just, I'm absolutely loving this, especially for the summertime. I feel like I grab this more, grab, grab, grab is not even a word. I'm making up my own words here. Grab this more during summer, but moving on because I can talk about that one forever. Um, brushes. I'm just going to grab all the brushes together. I love, love e.l.f. Studio brushes. They're amazing. I have so many of them. I have the e.l.f. Complexion brush, which I use on every day to put bronzer all over, but you can use this multitask brush. You can use it for powder, blush, everything. Another one that I love from e.l.f. is their small stipple brush, and I like this because it's so tiny. I don't know if you guys can see how tiny that is, but you can use it to blend out concealer. You can use it to highlight or just on your cheekbones or just a highlight on your cheeks. Multi-purpose multi -purpose brushes is what I gravitate towards. Moving on is this little Kabuki from Equal Tools. It came in a set, in a mineral set with this one. I've talked about it in another video and it came with five brushes, but I know that some people may not like that it has a small little short handle, but I really like it because I feel like I have control and I really use this to pack on to kind of set my under eye concealer every day. So I love that. And sorry, I just threw a brush on the floor because that's how I roll when I get angry. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, another Eagle Tools brush I love is their blush brush. I've talked about it as well. Moving on, I don't want to get too into detail because then this video will be extremely ridiculously long. So another brush I'm obsessed with is the buffing brush by Samantha Chapman, Real Technique Brushes. Hands down, one of my favorite brushes of all time. Try Samantha Chapman Real Technique brushes if you haven't. I recommend them so badly to you. They look like a high-end product. They're drugstore products, sold at Ulta, sold at Kohl's. You can find them at Walmart now as well, but they're really affordable, come in sets. They're amazing, they're beautiful. Oh, 
I love them. Obsessed with these brushes. Try them out if you haven't tried them. Another thing I love is this. It's really hard to find like matte drugstore good quality eyeshadows. Did you hear me say that? Matte good quality drugstore eyeshadows. So I really enjoy this Physicians Formula Classic Nudes, but they come in, they have like different little um, quad um, color shades, like different ones that you can choose from, but I just really like these ones. And they're all matte, so it's really hard to find that, so I really like this one for everyday wear. So moving on, another brush. Oh, I forgot to mention these brushes. This one came in a set in one of my Sonia Kashuk brushes. She's another one from Target. She's only sold at Target as far as I know. I think you can order online as well. Her brushes are amazing as well. This has to be my all-time favorite brush of all time from the drugstore that is under $5. It is the e.l.f. powder brush. Do you see how dense that is? It's so dense. And the reason why I really like this is because you can use it to press on powder, like mineral powder, buff in anything. You can use it for contouring, everything, blush. I've done it all with this brush and it is one of my favorites. The best thing about it is it costs three dollars. Tres dólares, okay? So go get you some of that at Target. I think it's sold at Walmart too now. Elf is starting to be sold everywhere now. So go get you some of that. But anyways, moving on is lip products. That's the last thing I have to share with you besides, well, let me finish talking about this and then I'll go on to my lip products. But I'm almost done, guys. Woohoo! I'm um, sorry, I need another goldfish in my life. Watch your eater goldfish. Watch your eater goldfish. Sorry. Okay. I am obsessed with Jordana products. They're so good, so affordable, sold at Walgreens. Go check some of the Jordana products out. They're phenomenal. And one that I absolutely love, I always hear people talking about like the, um, what is it, like the jumbo eyeshadows from NYX, the milk. I used to have it. I didn't really like it. It creased on me like crazy. I know a lot of people like it, but for me, just because I have really oily eyelids, it doesn't work for me unless I set it with the powder, which you're supposed to do anyways because those aren't, I don't think you're not supposed to use the powder on top, but this one, I love it. It's kind of similar to those jumbo sticks, and it's a 12-hour made-to-last eyeshadow pencil in the shade Continuous Almond by Jordana. I swear to you guys, this stuff is amazing as a base for your eye. I'm going to put some right here. You see that right there? That will freaking stain my hand for the rest of the day. It will stay there all day if I do not wipe it off. And it's a beautiful, very nice base to put underneath your eyebrows. It really makes a clean looking, um, it makes your eyebrows looking very clean if you put it right underneath there, kind of like to highlight. Or you can put it all over your lids, your eyes, whatever. I love it. I love it so much. Obsessed with this for the fact that I have oily eyelids and it's hard for me to find a base for my eyes that is, that is very affordable and that works. And that's all that I care. I don't care about the fancy smancy. I love everything. Like I have high end to low end products, but I care that the product works. So as long as it works, that's what matters. So go check out these 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencils from Jordana, sold at Walgreens, uh, amazing. I'm rambling, I know, sorry, I apologize. Talked about these before, I think I'm most excited to share my lip products because if you guys know me already and you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you'll know that I am obsessed with lip products. They're one of my favorite things I feel like to put on my lips, to put on my lips. That didn't make no sense, Desiree. But anyways, yes, I was talking to myself. But anyways, um, I love lip my Lip Be products. They're amazing. My favorite thing to wear is lipstick, lip gloss, all day, every day. So with that being said, I love these Milani Statement lipsticks. All of them are pretty. I haven't found one that I do not like. I picked a couple shades to share with you guys, but they are amazing. And the three shades I chose to show you is Fruit Punch, Flamingo Pose, and Sweet Nectar. And I like that they have the little color indicators at the bottom. That is awesome. Good job, Milani. 
I know they have new products that I need to pick up and try, but Sweet Nectar is a very pretty bright orange, and I love orange. I know some girls don't like it, but I really like it on my complexion. And then another one I really like for everyday wear, it's not too loud of a pink, it's called Fruit Punch. Really pretty everyday color. And I have um, another one called Flamingo Pose, which I am obsessed with. If you want that really bright look, this will give it to you. And they're all just so pretty. I'll, I'll um, swatch this Flamingo Pose for you right here just so you can see how pigmented these are and how beautiful. And they all have different finishes, but they are kind of have like a satin glossy finish, I feel like most of them do. None of them are matte, but they either have like a shimmer or a frost or a cream finish. So there it is right there. You can see how pigmented that is. I don't know why I'm moving my hand like this, like that makes any sense. Another line of lipsticks that I'm absolutely loving and obsessed with at the moment is these Maybelline Maybelline Vivid's lipsticks. I have a lot of these. I just brought this one to share with you. But I love Pink Pop by... Um, Pink Pop is one of my favorite colors as well. And it's from the Vivid's as well. And this is in Hot Plum. It's what I'm wearing today. And I really, really like it. It's like this purple fuchsia color. And I really, really like it. Purple, fu purple fuchsia plum color. Yeah, get your story right, girl. Anyways, that's what that looks like, and it's on my lips right now, along with this beautiful gloss from, um, why did I show you that part? That didn't make no sense either. It's the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss. It's so pretty. Really love this. The only thing I hate is that it stains. I know so, some people are like, why wouldn't you like that it stains? No, this booger right here, it stains like crazy. So I have that on top of this, on top of that lip gloss. Oh look, I'm just making a mess. This lip gloss I have on top of this lipstick right here. Right now that's what I'm wearing. So another one that I'm obsessed with lip gloss wise because if you guys know me, my lips have to be glossed. I can't do matte lips. Like I try and I try and I try, but I just love my lips to be glossy. Just don't do matte lips very well. I try. Maybe one day it'll happen, but my lips are always shiny because that's how I like them. TMI, TMI. But um, this color is called Continuous Almond, I think, too. Wait, what is this called? I don't even know if I got that right. No, Almond Crush, excuse me. And it's the, um, I believe this one is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Glosses. Really cute packaging. And it's a very beautiful color for everyday wear. It just gives the most beautiful, natural kind of glow to your lips. And I don't know if you can see that. See that glow right there? It's just a really pretty color to highlight the center of your lips or just all over for a glossy finish. Really pretty. Recommend this one as well. Moving on, two things I cannot live without to do my lips. To do my lips. Yeah. To do my lip. Like when I put lipstick on and to prime my lips is my Carmex. I know. It does not smell good. So you know what I do is I use this because it works. Because so many chapsticks smell good, but they do not work or do anything for your lips. So this one works for me after I exfoliate, of course, and I just dropped it on the floor. But the one I like to put on top, but you cannot put too much of this because then you'll lip, your lips will look like that color, nice and white, and I don't like that. But this is the um, Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. I really like the smell of this, and I put it on top of my Carmex because I don't like the smell of the Carmex, so this is what I use on top of that. And it's amazing. So go check out some of that. So, I'm almost done. Two more things I gotta talk about. These Maybelline Color Elixir Lips, Lipstick Lip Gloss, whatever it's supposed to be, amazing. I was wearing this in my previous videos when I sang, when I was doing my singing covers of Mariah Carey with my beanie. You know, the previous videos I just did, if you haven't seen it, check it out. This is the um, color that I'm wearing. And it's absolutely beautiful. It is a straight up purple, like Barney. And it's right there, and I really, really like it. 
So I love these. I want to try some more and it's so cute packaging. It looks like a lipstick. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually opens this way. Sorry, but look how cute it is. It's so cute. So they have a lot of shades and I really, really enjoy it. It's very comfortable on the lips. They're just a little pricey, but I think they're worth it. So moving on, the last thing I want to talk about is these NYX Butter Glosses. I am obsessed with the NYX Butter Glosses. I have it almost in every shade. I have so many of these and I feel like when I don't know what to wear on my lips, I always grab one of these because they're so pigmented. They're amazing. They smell amazing and you can't go wrong with them. And um, let me just swatch one. I feel like Apple Strudel is a very popular one and I feel like it's so pretty. It's like a pinky, baby pink coral, I feel like. It's right there. And they make your lips look so pretty. I really like the way the finish is. It's a little streaky to put on, but once you put it on there, it kind of just, have you ever used like one of those nail polishes that are streaky and then after it's like, oh, there it is, it's beautiful. That's how this is. The nail polish that I love, I think I'm done talking here, but the last thing I want to share with you is this nail polish by Sally Hansen. Obsessed with this because blue is my favorite color. I don't have it on right now, but it's a very beautiful shade and it's called Pacific Blue. And that's what it looks like. And it's just a straight up blue and I really like it. It's actually coming off a little bit more brighter on camera, but it's not really that bright. It is bright, but not that bright. It's a little bit more of a, kind of like an ocean blue. I don't know, I'm really bad at describing things. Let's just move on. So last thing, cause I lied, is this Mad About You um, body spray from, Mad About You from, where are you from? Oh, I think this is from Bath and Body Works. But I really just think the packaging is so cute on this body spray and it says Mad About You on it and it has like roses on it. So I really think it's cute. Plus, it smells absolutely amazing. Like I said, I'm bad at describing scents, so I'm not even gonna try. Moving on, that is it. That's all of my favorites for the month of March. I hope you guys did not get too bored with this video. I hope you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed and I hope you enjoyed my March favorites video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. God bless always.